Let's move on now to the Russia-Ukraine war. The war between Russia and Ukraine is not ebbing, but Ukrainian soldiers are in a time of smiles as they have announced receiving shells from the United States. To this end, Russia has begun military drills around the Ukrainian border. Maybe just to say we're not sitting by watching. We have a report. The first batch of new aid from the U.S. is already at the front line. American-made shells are now reportedly flying towards the Russians in the Bakhmut sector. The artillerymen of the 30th Brigade say they no longer lack shells. Ukrainian-made shells have also begun to arrive and they are reportedly of a scarce caliber. After Russian soldiers were previously storming Ukraine's Kharkiv and Donetsk regions from almost all directions, the Russians were hoping for a quick breakthrough before the latest foreign aid brought to Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russian forces have started military drills near Ukraine simulating the use of tactical nuclear weapons in response to what Moscow deems as threats from Western officials. President Vladimir Putin ordered the drills earlier this month in a move Russian officials said was a warning to the West not to escalate tension further. The Kremlin has particularly been angered by the French President Emmanuel Macron, who floated the possibility of sending European troops to fight Russia in Ukraine, and by remarks from the UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron, who said Ukraine had the right to use weapons supplied by the United Kingdom to target sites in Russia. The Russian Defense Ministry published footage on Tuesday showing trucks carrying missiles to a field where launch systems had been prepared and troops at an airfield making ready a bomber to carry a nuclear warhead. The drills are taking place in Russian southern military district, headquartered in Rostov on Don, which borders Ukraine and includes parts of the country which Russia occupies.